What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, here you see undefeated three division world champion who simultaneously held the WBA super title at super featherweight, WBA regular title at lightweight, WBA regular title at junior welterweight, superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, 28 wins, no loss, no draw, 26 wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, 5 foot 5 with a 67 inch arm reach, working on a counter left hand. This counter left hand to help him prepare for his April 15th mega pay-per-view showdown with undefeated lightweight junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender King Rod Ryan Garcia who has 23 wins no loss no draw 19 wins by way of knockout he is 24 years of age 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch armage as you can see Javante Tank Davis is preparing for a counter left hand okay slip counter left hand as he's preparing for the pressure of, of Ryan Garcia Ryan Garcia he gets overzealous with his uh, left hand and his left hooks and his right hooks. He gets uh, he puts his weight over his front foot at times and he opens himself up extremely wide and over gets overconfident with his hand speed and his power and his hooks. And that's a grave mistake that Ryan Garcia makes that he has to clean up. And that's only going to come with experience on the biggest levels. OK. Uh, hence the reason why I always say that I favor Javante Tank Davis to win this fight is because of the inexperience of Ryan Garcia and the mistakes I believe Ryan Garcia will make in this fight with Javante Tank Davis. And Javante Tank Davis just simply does not get enough credit for his ability to make adjustments and his ability to box. Everybody gets overzealous with the power of Javante Tank Davis. They don't realize the ring IQ. They don't understand the ability to make adjustments and as you can see Ryan Garcia right here he leaps and leaves his feet with his left hook and his right hook at times and you can see he put his weight over his front foot his lead foot which is going to uh, result in him being um, out of position in, in pressure uh, position as well being when I say pressure position he's pressuring Javante Tank Davis Javante Tank Davis working on slipping underneath the hook and countering with the left hand and just slipping the power you know, and the pressure of, of Ryan Garcia encountering with a left hand. This is, I believe, uh, something that Ryan Garcia is going to be prepared for. But I, what he's not going to be prepared for is the right hand of Javante Tank Davis. He's going to be well aware and very conscious of Javante Tank Davis's left hand, but he's not going to be as conscious and as concerned with Javante Tank Davis's right hand. Uh, many people are not as concerned with Javante Tank Davis's right hand. They don't give it uh, too much credence. They don't pay too much attention to it. Everybody's uh, focus on his left hand, but he has power in both hands and his ability to make adjustments, his ability to use angles and his ability uh, to box lets him use and hide his right hand. And ultimately, that's what I believe Ryan Garcia is not going to see. And that's Javante Tank Davis's right hand. OK, I believe he could slip underneath Ryan Garcia left hook and he could counter with his left hand, but he also could counter with his right hand if he so chooses. And again, like I said, you can see in these clips that Ryan Garcia, he leaves himself open uh, extremely wide. And this is something that he just, you know, uh, has not cleaned up. And that's because it's just a lack of experience, right? Just time and experience to help him clean that up. And again, uh, he has extremely fast hands. He has power in both hands. Uh, he definitely has the size advantage, arm reach advantage. Ryan Garcia has a uh, great ability to box as well. Okay. What Ryan Garcia lacks is the foot speed, okay? Foot placement and foot speed is the ultimate downfall for Ryan Garcia, I believe, when it comes to a fight with Javante Tank Davis or the Devin Haney Shakur Stevensons of the world. And as you can see right here in this clip, watch Ryan Garcia. He's going to leave his feet with his left hook right there. Bang, left his, left his feet. And he'll do it again with his right hook, okay? You'll see him do it again with his right hook. It's, it's not as uh, blatant. But it's definitely there. You'll see him leave his feet with his right hook, resulting in a pressure style and resulting in Javante Tank Davis slipping underneath it. Watch this. He's going to leave his foot. They go leave him with the, with the left. That right there. He leaves with the right. Right. And you don't always see it on paper on, uh, uh, as he's fighting because of his blazing fast hand speed and his quick uh, reflexes. So you don't always it's not so noticeable. But Javante Tank Davis is going to prepare to slip underneath that pressure, that hook, 
and count them, right? Now, here, obviously, he's working on the left, right? But what you're not seeing is him and Coach Calvin working on the right. And that's what ultimately is going to be the issue for Ryan Garcia. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sport TV. Wow.